Hi, I'm the flower guy. We're going to make a roundy moundy bouquet for you today. We're going to start off with our greens. And what I'm doing, I'm, since I'm using such a short base, I cut it so I have some tips and then some bottoms. What I'm doing here, I'm lacing. You put the stems in between the, the laterals on your leather fern. And the laterals are any stems that are coming out. Now I'm going to add the bottoms. This will hold it together. And when you start putting your flowers in, this will keep them from flopping and being loose in your bouquet. Now I'm going to add a little bit of spring rye. This could be found in your yard. It's just one of those light and delicate foliages. And you could use it in any bouquet. One thing you do want to do is when you use your foliage, you want to strip the foliage off the bottom that is going to go into the vase. The reason is it contaminates the water, turns the water green. So you want to be able to see the stems. It just adds that much more to a bouquet. Now that I've got some foliage in there, now I'm going to do some roses. And again, you want to take off your leaves that are going to be down in the water. Again, we're going to do a roundy moundy, so you want to keep your stems fairly short. And I'm going to show you a little trick with roses that a lot of people don't know about. And we're going to take the petals and we're going to bend them back. It's better if the, the rose is left at room temperature for a couple hours. What it does, it makes your petals softer. And what we're doing, we're just bending them back. And what it does, it makes it look like your rose has already opened up. And it really has an attractive look to a rose. And again, this is called tailoring. Just adds a little bit to a bouquet if you're in a hurry to have an open rose. It just adds that much more to it. And now we're going to use some carnations. A lot of times if you buy carnations from a store, they're going to be tight. What you do, you hold it right around the galax, and that's where the, the stem meets the, the flower head. You just take your fingers and just kind of fluff. And what that does, it makes a full carnation. And what we're going to do, we're just going to keep your bouquet rotating. your foliage off the bottom of your stems. It makes it a little bit easier to put them in the vase also. Now we're going to add some delphinium. A lot of people grow delphinium out in their yards and gardens. Really attractive. Hummingbirds love them. Butterflies. And what we're doing here, we're using the buds also. Something that most people would just discard. We're going to use the buds because they will open up. And when you're doing a roundy mound, you want to try and keep everything at the same level. That's why they call it roundy mound. As you make your bouquet, kind of keep turning the bouquet so you can kind of see if you've got all sides filled. And I don't throw a whole lot away. I try and use almost everything there is except for the stems. And sometimes they can use the stems. Okay, now we've got our main flowers. I'm going to add a little bit of seeded youth. This is one of my favorite colleges. It just adds a little bit to a bouquet. You have the seeds, you have the petals. And if, if you go to your flower shops, you could a lot of times get this in different colors. Fall colors and browns and reds, and purples. Most most shops carry the green. And this is just an accent. But 
project. And you don't want to add a whole lot, just enough to, to add to it. Give a little texture to the seeds, different shape with your foliage. Now I'm going to use a little bit of Sweet William. This is going to brighten it up to give you a little bit more color. Sweet William is a relative of carnations. Uh, these are also called dianthus. And this is like a filler. It just adds a little bit more to a bouquet. And we're not going to put a whole lot in, just enough to give it that bright, bright look. And there's your little round mouth.